बिसमीम वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ लेक्चर 15 ऑफ मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट कोर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट कनेक्ट थ्री ऐप विच यूज एनिमेशन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड वट एनिमेशन आर एंड हाउ यू कैन यूज एनिमेशन इन यूर मोबाइल ऐप्स बट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिवेलप अ वर्केबल ऐप Uh, and that uses animation, and then uh, you will see a practical uh, example of it. And I hope that you will then uh, understand how to uh, implement or how to convert concept concepts into reality. So uh, today, inshallah, we are going to once again discuss animations, and then we are going to connect. Connect three apps. So animations are uh, used uh, almost in all apps. Uh, they are for like they are used to make app more attractive. Uh, for uh, like to make uh, user interaction more easy, or to make uh, app more understandable. So with that, uh, I'm going to uh, open Android Studio. And first, I'm going to create a new app. So click on File, New, New Project. Select Empty Activity as always, and then click Next. And here I'm going to give it a name. Give a uh, give it a meaningful name. It's a Connect Three. Let's say. and uh, make sure that the language is java click finish and let the android studio complete its job i want to show you something uh, whenever you create a project uh, there are a lot of files that are generated for you and you can see those files like you can see those files here here uh, in this mcs folder you can see that android studio has generated a lot of files for you so i mean if i click right click on it and go to properties uh, you will see that uh, initially uh, almost 600 kb of files are generated for you on the hard disk all right uh, with that uh, I am going to go back to Android Studio, and I am going to close all these apps because I mean they are taking CPU resources. All right, so everything looks fine. Um, so first uh, we are going to uh, design our app. So this app uh, is very much similar to Tic Tac Toe app. Uh, but uh, I hope that we are going to uh, use animation in that uh, so that uh, it is easier for you to play this app. So uh, I have already uh, downloaded images from the internet. You can use any images. So I have red images, uh, yellow image, and uh, a board images, which is uh, three by three board, three rows and three columns. so i'm going to cut them and then go to android studio and in drawable folder you can paste them so click okay click click okay again so now you see all those images are ready for you okay then you know that in order to make a design we go to the layout underscore main xml file you can delete this text view because we do not need it and then um, i am going to use a grid layout so search grid layout here uh if you cannot find it then you can search it uh, uh, on the find find menu so i am going to uh, search it in the palette and just type grid yes there you have it so drag it over here uh 
says that it needs some type of a library and I want to add that library this is why Gradle is so good and this is why we can like uh, integrate components and library on the go so you make sure that you have internet connection on okay so let us see what is happening at the background so it is receiving some data so it means that it is importing adding that component so this is a game and let me show you that this is like uh, we have three rows and three columns so this is like a tiktok tacto game so you if you you wins if you have uh, your pattern uh, horizontal wise or vertical wise or diagonal wise so uh, two players can play this game so for one player we have chosen this uh, red circle and for other player we have chosen this yellow circle uh, let me close them and I hope that it will be added soon okay so while this is Android Studio is doing its job let me uh, discuss some of uh, important things uh, in uh, Android Studio. The manifest file is an extendable markup language file. It contains the main information of your app. Like if you click it, you can see that your application for now has only one activity and that is called main activity. Um, the style is app theme and you are using uh, this icon as a your default icon the label of this app is uh, connect 3 app um, you know that all of the strings are uh, contained in the string file so that is why here we are referring at the string file um, there is uh, a variable called app underscore name and the value of that variable is connect 3 app all right and then um, we have this icon this icon is present in map map folder you can see this map map folder over here so this is our default icon so you can change this icon um, I think Android Studio has completed its job so I'm going to go back to uh, Android Studio uh, get a little space so grid layout has been added so let me select this grid layout and uh, let me see that whether we have okay the constraint are missing uh, it means that okay let me just delete it and I'm going to uh, once again I'm going to get it so there it is it's a grid layout uh, drag it all right so now uh, I'm interested in the properties of grid layout so So let me just uh, constrain it to the left to the right because uh, for some reason I cannot see its properties but uh, you can see those properties here uh, in the XML file. 
I think uh, if I if I use uh, only uh, only the grid layout, the plain grid layout, so that will be is for us it will be easier to work with. Okay, now you can see all these uh, properties have been appeared. So I am going to constrain. Uh, so it is constrained. And uh, let us give it an ID. So the ID is grid layout. Okay. And I think uh, we should uh, adjust it because uh, uh, let me give it a fifth of uh, let's say 368 and also the height of 368. put dp and that is looking ok so this is uh, your uh, grid layout and now uh, what we can do we can add uh, we can like add uh, an image on top of this grid layout um, so that it appears uh, for a user a user can see that what is happening at the background okay so uh, you know that we already have we already have imported uh, the all these images so here I am going to search for the background uh, okay there it is uh, click this button and on the background I am going to use this board so now it looks uh, fine okay so once you have selected this uh, board image uh, the next thing is to add images uh, to each of these uh, columns but for that remember that we haven't defined the column and the row count our row count of our grid layout so column count here is 3 and we can search for the row count ok ok there it is a row count is also 3 so make sure that you have 3 by 3 grid layout with that uh, the last step is to like somehow uh, add those images uh, so let me like uh, add uh, one image on top of my grid layout so for adding image you can like uh, go and select uh, image view so yes there it is and drag it over here and inside this drawable folder we have this red image so you can see that red image uh, I think uh, we, we can uh, find out the way of how to adjust that image for, for the moment uh, uh, it is working like we have imported the first image so we should make sure that the other cell also gets their images uh, so for that uh, what we can do we can like uh, uh, we can go to our XML file and there we can do uh, copy and paste because one of the images has been imported so if you are okay let me copy this image and paste it below so row 0 and column 1 so now you can preview it there you see you have another image Uh, so 
let us uh, do the same for the rest copy paste it paste it paste it paste it let us see how it looks on the design mode okay so we haven't changed the column and rows so that is why it is not appearing so this will be column 2 you can preview, preview it over here uh, you see that uh, the image appears over here and now we have row 1 and column 0 alright and then we have a row 1 column 1 and then we have row 1 column 2 there you see all those images appears on our grid we can adjust those images but for now we just want to make sure that everything is happening fine so I'm going to paste this uh, three time mode so our row is 0 1 2 row 2 and column 0 again it's row 2 column 1 and it's uh, row 2 and column 2 so you can see those images um, we can adjust the size of those, those images but for now uh, uh, you can see that every cell has its own image uh, the next thing uh, is to decide uh, about the size of that image so because uh, you see that now it is uh, like not fitting inside one cell so what I can do I can select it and make the layout width of I mean it's it, it's all about trial and error 100 dp uh, it's looking fine and also make the width of 100 dp and that is looking perfect but I think it is not in the middle so we uh, have to somehow set the margin to be off let me first select the margin so there it is so margin left I think it is let us make it okay, now you see that it is almost in the middle so from the above margin top we can also set it to 5 dp select this and then margin top 5 dp now you see that uh, it's almost I mean it is almost perfect okay the next thing is to um, copy uh, the size to rest of the image view um, so I'll be going back to my XML file. Uh, all right. So let me go to the XML file and uh, um, just for the sake of this uh, video, I'm going to delete the rest of these images. Yes, this image was looking good. So go ahead, copy it, paste it, and change the row to be zero and column to be. If I just delete this row and column, so you see that it has automatically inserted a new image to the second. I want to bring it back so the column is 1 and, and this is image view let's make it image view 1 and this is image 2 okay 
and I think uh, the margin should be 20. Now it looks good. Yeah, it is looking good. Make it a little bit more. Make it like 23. And I mean, I mean, it's all about trial and error. So now it is looking fine. I want to select this image view and paste it on so the row the column this time is 2 okay. so this is in fact image 2 this is image 3 So the row is 0 but the column is 1, not right. Column is 2 and again we have margin problem, so make it 23. So this is all about design, I mean you are designing, you are, so what happened to this image view, you should also increase the margin of this, this image view to B15. it is looking perfect so I think I should copy these uh, three image view and paste it below I want to save my typing let me see the time so okay we are also running out of time but let me first uh, complete the design part and then we can work on the coding part so image one two three four and image 6 so image 4 is at row number 1 row 1 column 0 column 1 and again row 1 ok so we have to adjust the margin margin from the top so make it 15 ok I'm going to make it 20 make it 20 um, I think they are looking fine but I think we should increase it a little bit With that, I am going to once again um, paste all these images and this is image 1, 2, 1, 2, ok, image 6, this is in fact image 7, 7, 7. and this is the row so far so this is in fact row 2 and this is also row 2 alright so adjust that height so what height did we give to the ok it was 25 db so I am also going to make it 25 make it 25 and 
also for the last one make it 25 no okay so your design looks uh, perfect um, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me go to the design uh, what I am going to do I am going to uh, click on this image view and then I am going to say that the on click attribute is dropping so many errors so this is in fact image number 9 this is image 8 image 7 image 5 image 4 3 2 and 1 ok so let us uh, insert this drop in image uh, sorry method uh, in the java code and for now going to uh, replace I am going to click uh, ok I am going to say replace this red uh, image uh, because initially there should be no image because whenever we click then the image should appear ok So because I want the image to be appear on the runtime. So for that uh, I am going to select this drop in method and go to edit and go to find and replace. Okay. I am going to find what? I am going to find this red image paste it and I am going to replace it with as you know with this uh, on click drop in attribute and replace all ok so you can now see that there is no image because initially in this connect3 game there is no image but uh, we are ready to we are ready to now implement we are ready to implement our app or do coding for our app and the design part has been completed so with that uh, I think we are running out of time so I am going to see you in the next lecture till then Allah Hafiz we are going to continue with uh, the same app in the next lecture.